In this video, we'll learn how to design this simple wrench in SOLIDWORKS. We have top view, front view, unit system is IPS. The material we are going to use for this part is castorized steel. So let's go ahead and start with the top view. Right click on top, select sketch. First, I'm going to draw this line. Line. Also, make sure that the unit system is in IPS. Now I'm going to draw a center line. Smart dimension. The length of this edge is 3.25 inch. Okay. I'm going to make them equal. Now I'm going to use mirror entities. For entities to mirror, select this line and for mirror about, select the center line. Okay. The distance between this line and this line is 0 0.4 inch. So smart dimension, select these two lines and enter the value as 0 0.4 inch. Okay. Now I'm going to draw this circle and the dimension of the circle is 0 0.4 inch and that is radius. Select circle. Draw a circle touching the edge or end point. Okay. And smart dimension. The diameter of the circle is 0 0.8 inch. Okay. Now I want to add a relation here. Select this point and select this point and make them horizontal. Trim entities, trim the extra part here, okay. Instead of drawing a circle, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a center line in the middle, escape, trim entities, sorry, mirror entities. For entities to mirror, select the circle and for mirror about, select the center line okay now i want to draw this hexagon so select polygon and with this as center draw a hexagon escape now select any edge and make it horizontal we have a dimension here the distance between this line and this line is 0 0.5 inch so select smart dimension select this line and select this line and make it 0.5 okay now I want to add a hexagon here too so select hexagon but this time we don't have the center of hexagon over here we have it somewhere over here so draw a hexagon with center somewhere over here escape select this edge and make it horizontal okay here we have the distance between this line and this line is 0 0.5 inch so smart dimension select this line and select this line and make it 0 0.5 select this inscribed circle here which is for construction delete it and uh, i'm going to draw a line so that we can get this shape select line and draw it somewhere over here escape now if you see this the distance between the line and the center point of this circle is 0 0.25 inch so select smart dimension select the line and select the center point of the circle and make it 0 0.25 okay and the distance between the line and uh, this point is 0 0.4 inch smart dimension select this line and select this point and make it 0 0.4 okay now i'm going to use trim entities to trim this extra part so trim entities trim this extra part of the circle and hexagon 
also I'm going to trim this extra line here and uh, this one here okay and we need to add a relation here that is select this point and select this point and make them horizontal now the sketch is fully defined the only step we are left with is to use extrude boss or base select extrude boss or base and uh, the depth is 0 0.3 inch so enter this value as 0 0.3 okay so we need to find out the mass to find out the mass we need to add the material to add the material right click on the material here edit material and uh, the material we are going to use is cast alloy steel so select cast alloy steel here and make sure that the units are in IPS click apply close and to find out the mass select evaluate go to mass properties here it says the mass is 0 0.14 pounds to get accurate value go to options use custom settings and change the decimal places to 4 or 5 click ok now you can see the mass as 0 0.11 sorry 0 0.14484 pounds save the file exit